What's a man to you? Paint a picture. What's a man? Well, a man is a father, a man is a husband, a man is somebody who takes responsibility. As conservatives, we've got to call men back to responsibility. We've got to say that spending your time not working, and we have more and more men who are not working, spending your time on video games, spending your time watching porn online while doing nothing is not good for you, your family, or this country. So a viewer's watching this and they're thinking, really, what the liberals are doing are going to push me to watch Pornhub more or play Donkey Kong more? Do you mean that literally? Well, what I mean literally is that I think the liberal attack, the left-wing attack on manhood says to men, you're part of the problem. It says that your, your masculinity is inherently problematic. It's inherently oppressive. What? That was Senator Josh Hawley trying to explain to an Axios reporter while keeping a straight face that the attacks we're seeing on masculinity is leading to more and more men playing video games and watching pornography. Now, being the bastion of masculinity that he is, this pencil neck knows how important masculinity is for men. I mean, look at him. Look at this face. Does this not scream masculinity? Is this not a Chad? This is a very masculine man here, okay? So he knows. So lately, he's been on a tirade against these attacks on masculinity. What are the attacks in particular? Well, he doesn't necessarily say, but last week he kind of said the same thing as he told this Axios reporter, that more men are going to result in to, uh, you know, watching porn and playing video games if these attacks on masculinity continue. Can we be surprised that after years of being told that they are the problem, that their manhood is the problem, more and more men are withdrawing into the enclave of idleness and pornography and video games? I found the comment by one young man to a Wall Street Journal reporter particularly evocative and particularly heartbreaking. He said, I'm sort of waiting for a light to come on so I can figure out what to do next. Oh, I'm sure it's definitely because his masculinity is being attacked. Definitely. That's 100% what it is. Now, first of all, I just want to ask him who's saying this and what are they saying in particular that is leading to men feeling... I guess, embarrassed by their own masculinity because that's not what I've seen personally. But notice how there's no specificity in whatever case he's trying to make. It's just not very compelling. He's making it up. It's almost incoherent. Like, I don't know what he's trying to say. Second of all, sure, I think that more and more people are resorting to video games, which is not inherently bad. I think more people are watching porn, but is it really because they feel as if their masculinity is being attacked or is it because life fucking sucks because of the late stage capitalist hellscape that people like you help to build? I mean, people are working longer hours for lower wages and maybe for them, video games is their only escape. Is that so bad? Is that really a bad thing? I mean, we shouldn't have to find escapes. Life itself should be good enough. We should have a government living in the richest country on the planet that actually provides for us so we don't feel inclined to find escapes. But nevertheless, you know, he's not blaming the actual causal mechanisms here. He's not blaming the institutions. He's not blaming capitalism. He's blaming attacks on masculinity. And notice how there's this implication that anyone who plays video games, well, I mean, that's just inherently bad. You know, if you watch porn, you're a bad person, but that's not actually the case. The Association for Psychological Science actually found that playing video games boosts visual motor skills. And on top of that, a study published in Psychological Medicine found that boys that play video games are actually at a lower risk of experiencing depression. That's a good thing. And contrary to popular belief, a meta-analysis of 28 studies dating back to 2008 found that video games don't actually make players more violent video games and porn, these are things that are fine, in moderation, of course. I mean, you don't want to become so addicted to something that it ruins your life, so perhaps he's speaking about the addiction of video games. But video games overall, they're a net benefit to people overall who play them. I think that making young men less susceptible to be depressed, that's a really good thing. But yet he's making it seem as if it's it's a bad thing, when that, that doesn't make sense. But look, none of this matters, right? None of this matters. Because Josh Hawley, is just trying to use this issue to distract people from the fact that as a so-called populist, he self-identifies as a right-wing populist, but yet he offers no solutions, no benefits to people, no economic prescriptions for what we should do. He has nothing. So he has to fabricate issues to make it seem as if he knows the underlying issues in society. That's why you're so miserable, and people are miserable. But it's because, you know... Um, 
masculinity. It's because you're playing too many video games. No, actually, it's the system which you're helping to perpetuate. He would never actually challenge the status quo in any meaningful way. He wouldn't use his power as a U.S. senator to do anything to benefit the lives of people. So what does he do? He chooses to scapegoat societal issues on irrelevant things like attacks on masculinity or immigrants, when in actuality it's the late-stage capitalist status quo that he supports. We're living in the dystopia that right-wing capitalists want. This is your society, right? This is the free market hellscape that you've created. And rather than celebrating, they're acknowledging, rightly so, that things are bad and people are miserable, but yet they won't blame the system that created this mess, that created all of this misery and depression and poverty. They, they refuse to acknowledge it. So what do they do? They make things up. It's attacks on masculinity. It's critical race theory. It's uh, political correctness. It's wokeness. It's cat in the hat. It's uh, vaccine mandates. They, they create all of these issues to distract you from the hell that they've basically created for all of us. It's just truly um, on brand for modern day Republicans who have no substance. All they have is culture war nonsense like this. And, uh, you know, it shows unless they actually put forward any meaningful solutions that would materially benefit people's lives, they're going to continue to resort to fake issues that they fabricate like this. Masculinity is under attack. Video games are bad. It's just truly um, it's predictable. What the hell are we gonna do without men? You look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up, these men, they're doing impossible things, they're under the streets, and that that's not toxic masculinity. That appalling phrase. It's what keeps the world going round. And if we had any sense, we'd understand that instead of doing everything at every possible moment to label what we have in the West as oppressive and patriarchal and and, and fundamentally predicated on power of all the insane propositions.